previously on JSTV. So just rock up in Tassie. Plane has been delayed. Is this R rated or is this? Oh, you can do whatever you want. About a thousand people. Oh, it's hitting up now. Drink a clock. <laughs> We're now all sharing the red because they huge out of spite. Good morning. Uh, that was the most worst, terrible, most worst, terrible, terrible, terrible sleep I've ever had. Thanks to old mate Spadina Man upstairs. Just have a go at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Why is it? Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, mate, look at this. Look at this rig. I'm hurting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Shut up! So he's got to the venue here along the hotel. This is one of the coolest venues I've ever seen. I feel like we're in Wolf Brothers territory right now. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Cascade Blue. Uh, Casey's about to show up. Today was meant to be an acoustic show, but since the band is here, we're gonna do a full band show. This doesn't get much cooler stage than that. What doing you are? Huh? What doing you are? Um, show playing. Oh look, look who I've just seen outside the gate. It is the one and only KFC bum outside the gate, ready to come inside the venue with his next suitcase. Look at that man. Oh, he's gone. The man has entered the building. It is the one and only Casey Barnes. Where are we? Uh, man of the back, back now. So give us an update, what's going on? Mate, what a weekend. Um, Far out. Last night, what did we have? A thousand people at my yep. dinner? Yeah. Two sold out shows. Yeah. I've got fucking no voice left, but it right. doesn't matter because the show goes on and exactly. we're going to bring it today. And we can just put you in backing tracks anyway and you yeah, can mind. Just put me up the back behind the drums yeah. and I'll let Wazz sing. Exactly. He does most of the singing anyway. So this is the famous Longley. The, uh, to hear the Wolf Brothers talk about all the time. Pretty, pretty awesome place. And uh, they have the Cascade Blues, so we are on these all day today. It's a penis as well. Oh. There's a big penis right there. Look at it. Can you touch the wall for me, Mick? Okay. Now there's a dick on the wall. Here's Casey Barnes uh, in line behind the headline band. Just happy to be here, mate, to be honest. I'm just starting out. <laughs> So team, what's going on? What's happening? What's We're happening? stuck in Hobart. Oh, Virgin cancelled our flight. Did they? How stressed are you, boss? Uh, I am stressed. Up until I would say halfway through Casey Barnes' set this afternoon, we were having the greatest weekend of our lives. We had so much fun in Mathena, so much fun at the Longley, sinking these beautiful Cascade Blues, and then we get text messages from Virgin that say, Stick it up your bum. And they said, oh, your flights have been canceled. We will reschedule you for Tuesday. They decided that they love, the Tasmanian love Josh Settlemill that much, that they're gonna keep him till Tuesday. We just have to stay here now until we can figure out what we're gonna do. But where are we going, Mick? Driving. I think it is definitely time for a Simon Says. Simon Says. Simon Says, Tasmania is one of the most beautiful 
stunning. Geographically speaking, nothing can beat Tasmania. But if I have to be trapped here for another 24 to 48 hours, I will kill every member of this goddamn band. <laughs> Simon says. You were one character Mate, over. Stay in the Hampton suite. Boss got us the good deal. Look at this. Oh, look at the bloody view of the ocean. How incredible is that? So as you've seen, we've uh, had to stay in Tassie for tonight because we don't know when we were able to get home. So we're staying at this pub and we weren't sure, like we thought it was just gonna be a box, right? With like a couple of bunk beds in it. So you can't walk through the doors. Look, it's like an actual house. Boss's room in here. Simon's bed. I've, 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 I've a bed. And we've got, there's India, and there's, it's got a kitchen, and this, and we're trying to figure out how to get out here, and the window opens up, and you crouch down and come outside the window, and look at this, on the rooftop. Amazing. You know what, getting stuck here isn't so bad. That's pretty damn cool. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Mix just found this ancient piece of history. Tell the kids how it works. You got the phone. You got the phone, you put money in, you dial them and you fucking call them. No, I'll just. They probably don't even know what it is. So this is an iPhone back in the day. This is what iPhones used to be, mate. Yeah. Back, back when we fucking. Couple of cheeky bit. Cheers, India. Oh, cheers. Cheeky beers. Yeah. Have them to Mick. Yep. On yours. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, you can basically use in one of these, you can make a duck call, right? Okay, so, but you've got to get it. It has to be like, you can make it out of a couple of different things, but it has to be like, it has to be bent to like the perfect. So, like, kind of like that with a little bit of a gap. Yeah. Now, Bob Curious is fucking loud. <laughs> call it all ducks. <laughs> That's a fucking classic. <laughs> I'm not waiting at all. Yo, Mick, give me a beer. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> we're here, and uh, we're still here. And but the <laughs> cheers. You, you know what, Mick? It's fucking oh, ten thirty no. in the morning. You <laughs> <laughs> the boss has figured out how we're getting home. Uh, she woke up at five a.m. and has booked us new flights. <laughs> so we got to drive to the other side of Tasmania to be able to get home. So we, um, that's what we're doing. We're gonna. Get some food, maybe ride some scooters if we can console them in into doing it. This is home at the moment. So I don't know what we're actually gonna do when we get home. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. It is time for a boss update. We hopefully have a flight home tonight, Yeah. but it's out of long system. Right, so, so we're going back. This is Mick on the phone talking about uh, controversial topics like is Lord of the Rings Mick's favourite like uh, like movie of all time. Like and, it, like it, and, and oh, look here, oh, paparazzi, paparazzi, mate. Oh, come here, we want to talk about Lord of the Rings. What are you doing? Are you going with? I already have the app for this one. Babe. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> Please download the app. Please download the app and report that you have tipped me over. Why would you do that? That is so rude. I have feelings. Good, mate. Go for a ride. Good evening. Good evening. Elegant. Quite. 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 Hey, Bart. Scooter high. Look at this mad bike. Hey. Off road. Extreme scooter tricks. Stick up your bum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Extreme Scootering! Oh, oh, ten. 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 Simon, show me a sick trick! <laughs> Mick got in trouble because he wasn't, he didn't have a helmet on. He's <laughs> out how he looks like a goober. India getting in trouble with the police. Yeah, look. Look at my head. Kidding, I got it. What a head. Who was that that got you in trouble? The beam police. They live on top of your head. <laughs> the beam police. 
Mick and I have already dropped off our scooters. We're just waiting on the others. I stacked it. What? I stacked it so bad. I stacked it. Oh no. I stacked it. Oh, oh, oh man. No. Show us his arm. Uh, you win the award for most yeah. extreme of the day. What were you thinking? Of, can you do it again? Man. I didn't get it on I video. Know, super, my knees are just destroyed. You should tell me to film it before you did that. Yeah, if I knew I was going to do it, Josh, there's two things I would have done. First one, not done it. The second one, called you if I had to do it. It's not very rash. Simon says. Simon says. Let's, let's not go cutting Simon Says. People want Simon Says, right? Vote in the comments below. Do you like the Simon Says or do you want the Simon Says cut? Yeah, we'll wait. Where are we going? We're going to uh, Launceston, I believe it's pronounced. Launceston. Couldn't get a flight out of Hobart. Dana Wright came to the rescue. Got us a flight out of Launceston. Go to the Launceston airport and head to Brisbane. So we've driven all the way back across Tasmania to Launceston and uh, waiting to get on a flight. Um, we just found out it's been delayed again. So, I mean, we're here. We're trying our best to try and get home. I do just want to say this, right? Nothing can take away from the high of Saturday show in the film. That show was ridiculous. We want to come back. We do. We want to come back. We do. Have us back. We do. Do you want to come back? Absolutely. Do you? What just happened? Um, just Googled the flight that like that our plane is actually landing on. Right. And I realised that it's been further delayed now. Which so is, we're um, delayed a second time. But it's telling us to relax. How about just pick it up your butt? Is this dinner, boys? Yeah. Uh, well, so actually, what just happened is, like, we were all just on our phones, right? Yeah. On our phones, mind our own business. And then Dana pulls out a curly whirly. <sighs> she knows what she's done. Look at her face. She knows what she has done. Oh, we're not leaving till 9 o'clock. We've, as you can tell from the video so far, we've all been so polite, so kind to each other <laughs> this whole just... weekend. Come oh. on, Mick. All right. Mick. On the count of three, we love each other like rainbows, okay? One, One two, two, three, three four. Off. What's on the menu, India? Nothing vegetarian. Oh. Do you want some chicken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can eat yogi. <laughs> Yeah, get that. Don't get the chicken. Oh, it's not chicken. This is popcorn. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. this is um this is no good for you. Chicken. This is no good for you. I'm gonna get the popcorn chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just been delayed. One twenty-five again. minutes. As you can see by this angry crowd, they just cancelled our fucking flight. Back to Brisbane. They just, we drove all the way across Tassie today. So it's a couple of hours later, we're sitting in the airport after we got cancelled. Um, Hi Simon. The airline is trying to organise some accommodation and they are failing. So it looks like us and all these people here are going to be stuck here. What are we doing? Where are we going? Why is it all so fucked? Boys, where are we going? I'm pretty sure now we're going here. Somewhere in Tasmania. I don't know where we're going. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? It's past 11 o'clock. It's like 11.30. Yeah, it's, uh, um, so they couldn't get accommodation for us, so we've had to find somewhere just out of the city. We have to get a couple of cabs because we've got all this, all this gear. I kind of want to just go home. I love Tasmania, but I don't like being trapped here. <laughs> Good. Um... I'm not a virgin, thank you very much. <laughs> really is, he thinks he's really cool when he's not. He, he doesn't know what boobs look like. I don't, I don't actually know what boobs look like. Are they good? 
I have an eye left. Oh. Have you seen booze before? I think I know what that looks like. So now, after all that airport stuff, the key doesn't work to get into the accommodation for the night. Does it get any better, Mick? How you doing, boss? Boss. Mm. How you doing? Mm. You doing all right? You doing a good job. Mm. So finally got into the accommodation. Key wasn't working, so the guy had to come down the road and unlock it for us. You can't make this shit up. I'll just say, like, the boys are going upstairs to go to bed. As you can tell, we look very tired. It's been a long day. It's been a very annoying day. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Boss. Bye, boss. All right, time to wake up, boys. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad the light doesn't work. Here you go, fuck yourself. There's a dick in here. Yeah, well, I can see him. Look. That's a dick. That's a dick. That's a dick. <laughs> That's a dick. That looks like a dick. It is 12.46. Mm -hmm. um, now on Tuesday morning, is that right? Yeah. Tuesday morning? Tuesday yeah. the 1st of March. Um, We're supposed to leave on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. And I got ice on my knee. About eight hours after... Show us your, show us your stack. Oh, good. Goodbye. Have, Goodbye. have fun in the bed, oh, boy. <laughs> Tired, exhausted, a bit defeated. We're still having fun, but it's uh, it's pretty hard when it comes to stuff like this. Here he comes. If you don't shut the <laughs> fuck up, <laughs> it's time to go to bed, Josh. Say good night to your fans. Simon says. Simon says. Time for bed, Joshy. <laughs> I need to have fun in the bed, mate. <laughs> Third time lucky, Mick. How you doing, boss? I feel Good. like I didn't sleep like that. Yeah. What are you doing right now? I am waiting for two taxis. Hey, Simon. How you doing? Good, mate. What's going on? How's your knee? Oh. Shit. All right, attempt number three. Let's give it a go. How you going, Mick? To support you and your family, we welcome Dr. Capricorn. So here we are at an airport once again, trying to see if we can get home. It's still up there. It says relax. I say get fucked. I'll relax when I'm back home. Hello, Siri. Did Pinocchio end up inside of a whale? Well. Just said that the gate is open. So we're gonna head there and hope for the best. Go on, Simon. Oh, I just had a look on the um, on the flight tracker app and it says we're looking at 10.15 now. So, yeah, see how we go, huh? Delayed again. Yeah. Oh, we're going home. We're going home. We made it. We, we made, made it, it home. We're in Brisbane. So we made it back into Brisbane. Finally, we're trying to get back since Sunday. Oh no, what's happened now? Not, the Traveler is not working, so this thing's bites into the floor. So, while I'm on the Traveler, you get up to the bump. While I'm the Traveler, always hold the hand. Ready to push it. Oh, slow down there, Jay. Slow down, baby. That's good content. So, let's get home. Entire house is flooded. My studio, which had to be rebuilt about three months ago, is fucking gone. The whole floor was gonna have to be ripped up. I lost a couple of guitars in there. Um, even where I'm standing right now. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and uh, we've cleaned up most of the water in under the house. I lost uh, a bunch of personal belongings, which really sucks, stuff that I can't replace. But you know, there's so many people out there who are way worse off than, than I am. Some people lost everything, so I'm very, very lucky. But hey, the show's in Tasmania, absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for such a killer weekend. You know, it made the entire trip worth it. And although a lot of bad things happened, so much fun and we probably wouldn't change it for the world. It is 
chosen to get home a bit quicker. But, and thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.